I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. So Jen, where are we going this time? Nowhere. We're staying home and doing more work to the house even though Joe is working. We never go anywhere. No, not if you're in Illinois. Although we did just start phase three where we can get our hair done and our nails done and we can um, have groups of 10 out and about, but you have to wear your mask. Well, it's okay. The mask is all right. But that means you can get your hair done? Yes. Does that mean I don't have to color your hair next time? No. You can go do it yourself? Yes. I'm getting nice. my hair cut and colored and my nails done in the next two weeks. Yeah, because I don't have time to be a beautician anymore. I'm back to work. No. I got a real job. Not that being a beautician is not a real job, but I was just not cut out for that job. That's he did all. a good job. And mm. we'll link the description or we'll link that video in the description below yeah. in case you guys want to see when Joe colored my hair. If you haven't seen it already. It he was did a, a good job. I guess it was all right, you know. Could I have made it worse? Yeah, probably, but at least that didn't happen and no, made it better. you couldn't have made it any worse than the girl who did my hair before we went to Disney in and March. And she was a professional. That's true. Professional. That's true. <laughs> but anyway, um, now that Joe's back to work, um, <laughs> things really haven't changed because I'm still making him do things at home. So we actually last weekend installed some pathway lighting um, in the next week or two, maybe three, we're gonna put in a couple spotlights and we are replacing the lights on the house, which you can kind of see them in here, I'll just point. Yeah. There you go, right there's one. We've been in the house 15 years, so they're starting to show their age and- And we wanna do something black. Um, I think these were black when they started. No, they weren't. They weren't? Well, no, they were still. silver. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> we need to upgrade, update. They're looking kind of worn. Um, so same with our landscaping as well. We wanted to just kind of spruce things up a little bit this year. We took care of some of the plants and trees over the last couple of years. And um, uh, this year, the different mulch. And now we're going to show you the pathway lights. And um, then we'll show you the progress as we put in the other spotlights and the house lighting when we get it done. So you guys can see um, the before and after. But let's look at the pathway lighting. Let's, shall we? We shall. All right. I'm sure you guys remember when we were doing the mulch. This was a pretty extensive project at the time, but starting to get more of the plants that pop up. But you could see, actually, let's go back. We got the pathway lights here. These were just, I mean, we got them at Home Depot, Hampton Bay solar powered lights. Nothing's plugged in. They've got the solar uh, cell on the top. And during the day, it soaks up all of the sun and at night, they're not super bright, so it's not like it's, uh, you know, gonna keep anybody awake, but it is enough to, uh, to just light the pathway up a little bit. I'll try to, we'll bring the camera out tonight um, when we bring Resnick out, and we could show you guys what they look like when it's lit up. But we've got some um, plants coming up here. These are all of the Black-Eyed Susans, uh, Coneflowers, and I think there are the Shasta daisies there too. Um, definitely the Susans and definitely the Susans and coneflowers are there. Got some hostas and a couple plants here, and then some lavender back over here. The lavender, hostas, day and those lilies. are uh, yeah day lilies. And then those are definitely the Shasta daisies. So that one in the middle, that big one, that's all Shasta daisy. Yeah. So you can start to see the flowers there. They're gonna pop up and open up, and they'll be all white and yellow. And that one back there, that one was kind of a runt because uh, I had to transplant them. And that one's coming up pretty nicely as well. So, yeah. And you can see we've got some more of the light fixtures there. We're going to replace all of those. The evergreen here between this one and we've got these two alongside. These are getting big. So I'm thinking with the way they look, might be uh, taking those down next year. But we'll see. We're also having the front of the house painted. I forgot about that. Um, we're starting it Monday. Um, they're gonna do the trim around the front door and around the garage door. Um, Joe did it a couple of years ago and now it's starting to peel and chip. So we are starting that project on Monday. Our painter's coming over. Um, he should be able to start outside because it's supposed to be beautiful, like high 60s and sunny. And then we're moving on to another project. So come on in. We are also, after 15 years of living in this house, having the entryway painted. I'm so excited. So that's going to be started this week too. And it should be completed, if not the end of this week, early next week. We've got to get the outside done first while the weather's nice. 
and then the painter will move inside. But just to give you guys an idea of the downstairs color scheme, so these aren't the exact colors, but they're pretty close. So the gold and the maroon color are in the dining room. Um, the maroon's on the bottom, the gold's at the top, divided by a chair rail. So you've got that. Then across from the dining room is the third bathroom, and it's painted this green color. So then when you walk in the front door, this is the living room. It's a deep, um, I call it like a peacock blue color. Um, so then the upstairs hallway coming down into the entryway is this bright yellow color. It also goes into the kitchen and the family room. And then there's an accent wall in the family room, but I don't have that in this color palette. Um, so we're going to do the entryway, this awesome shade of turquoise. So it looks really cool, doesn't it? I'm really excited. What's interesting with it though, is that if you get rid of these colors and just have these two, yeah. This is which is the front of the house. Well, this is what inside you're of the see. house. These two colors will be next to each other, so there's just that contrast between the yellow and the turquoise. So, and then we'll be replacing the entryway rug and the rug at the bottom of the stairs. Um, so this is really going to look great when it's done, and so we will show you guys when it's done, um, so you can see everything in its glory. I'm so excited. Joe, are you excited? Yes. 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 All right. So that was before, and then we'll show you guys the after. It should be done in a, the painting will definitely, definitely be done in about a week and a half. And then the outside lighting, I'm going to say two to three weeks just to give us a buffer. 2,000 years later. Okay, so Joe and I have had the entryway painted. Um, we got a whole bunch of new accessories. Um, we just have to hang a couple more pictures, but we're not sure if we want them in the same spots as they were before. So we wanted to share that with you guys. And then tomorrow, um, we are having our handyman come out and he's hanging the outside lights. And then we'll show you all the lighting that we did. We ended up adding some spotlights um, and it just looks really cool. The whole front yard looks really cool um at night so come on along I'll show you guys so if you remember the entryway was white and now it's a bright happy welcoming turquoise and it turned out really really well it makes the wood pop do you like it joe it's grown on me <laughs> I was the one who wanted this color initially, and then as he was doing it, I thought, ooh, it's kind of dark. I thought it was going to be a little lighter, but I do like the way the wood around the door really stands out. And I like the way the color is just bright and very different than any other room. Mm -hmm. So here's the closet door. And then also the way the color contrasts with the yellow that we have here. Because this yellow, here's the blue as it continues, but the yellow continues up into the hallway. But that is a darker yellow. It's a different yellow. Isn't it a different yellow than... Is it the same yellow that's down here? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. It just looks darker because it's a little okay. darker up in the hallway. But the Could way the louder. light well, the way the light is hitting here right now, it's all it looks a lot brighter. But it's just because of the way the light is because west is here to my left. And uh, the way the light is coming in, it's just making that look a little lighter. And then really it does on camera, especially here on the monitor. It does. Um, it looks two different yellows. Yeah, it does. But it's because the hallway is a little darker. And just as is um, in the evening when it's darker in here, this blue looks a lot darker than it does right now. So, but we do really like the way this color looks. It just is very warm and welcoming. And I wanted to talk to them about uh, this extra little decorating. Well, then we did. found um, the cute lanterns and added the fairy lights. We found the pillows and the throw blanket for the bench. Hold on, I'm still showing the lanterns. So I'm ahead of you? You're ahead of me a little bit. And they're really cool. Where'd you get this idea? In my wonderful interior design life. <laughs> In the life that you didn't have? 
Yeah. yeah. We won't go there. But the fairy lights, they're all just uh, strands of lights. I mean, finer lights than Christmas lights. And you can set the different, see? To seizure. Yeah, that's if you wanna induce a seizure. This is like the slow. We just- um, On and off. Threw but a bunch like, of them in each lantern. And um, and there's like nine different settings. We won't go through all of them, but super cute. How much was each lantern? Or it was a set of three, right? I think it was like sixty bucks for the three of them. Then the fairy lights were separate. Okay, not bad. And then, all right, go on with the. We have um, this little bench here. And we did the pillows and the throw blanket just to make it cozy. And then we did the rugs. I like this just because it's of the colors. I know. Everything just seems to tie together. And then I found, I used to have eucalyptus in this space. Ooh, that sun is bright. Um, but I found um, someone on Etsy. These are wrought iron. Um, they were made... Um, Homemade. They're just wrought iron flowers and I, you get them in all different colors. I just think they're really, really cool. And I know. These flowers remind me of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They do. Just the way this whole thing is, again, just tying all the colors together. So again, we have a couple pictures that we still need to hang up um, that we just haven't gotten around to doing. So eventually that'll get done. We'll do it. And then tomorrow, once all the lighting is done, we'll show it during the day and during nighttime, so. Yeah, all right. It's pretty good. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and then I didn't show this one. This is the um, smaller rug at the foot of the stairs, but it matches the big rug by the front door. Yes. So, you're happy with it so far? I like it a lot. Here I, like I am. It a lot. Here I am in the mirror. I made it into the video. And I actually have an avocado margarita. I made myself an avocado margarita because Jen made chili for dinner. It's actually leftover from last night. She did Publix chili. Um, and I'm not drinking. Yes, but I needed to have an avocado margarita. Non-fancy glass this time. So cheers to you, everybody. Cheers. cheers. Okay, projects are wrapping up. We have the uh, new house lights up. Don't mind the garage. It's not as dirty as it has been, but. So we ended up going with lights that are a little, I guess, um, I don't know, simple in design. And we also have the lights at the front door. Lucky who's decided to join us. Where's my cats to go out? But let's see if he'll actually walk out the door. Come on. Come on, old man. Wow. Good boy. Good boy. Poor Rosnick, he's so old. Come on. It's okay, the stairs right here. Good boy. So anyway, as I was saying, we have the lights at the front door as well. They look really nice. Yeah, I like the way they look. So you good with the lights? You good with the work you did? Yes, they they are amazing. They look really nice. We need that we needed that contrast because the old lights were just whitish, silvery kind of gray, gray, and they just blended into the house. Yeah. And they were just old and worn after fifteen years. Yeah, these are all shiny and sparkly. And I can't recall if we uh, showed any of the landscaping. We did. Oh, no, nothing since it's bloomed. Yeah, we had, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, a week and a half ago, whatever. Anyway, within the last week, week and a half, these flowers started blooming. So there's uh, the Shasta daisies. This one, just gorgeous. Yeah. I like the way that one's turned out. We got these daylilies.
And then this area here, these are starting to really pop up, but nothing that's going to bloom. These usually bloom more in July. But uh, coneflowers and black-eyed Susans all in this area. Actually, this spot right here, which is a little bare in the middle, that would have been perfect for that big Shasta daisy bush. Anyway, well, maybe I'll add some later. And there we go. All right, just uh, gonna add one tiny last little part of the video here. We've gone through all these different projects around the house and we've shown you some of what we've done over the last couple of months, but there's one project that we finally completed today. It is the project that we are happiest about, most proud of, and definitely the most excited to have finally have completed. And that project is... Me! Look! Your I'm back to normal. Finally I'm got alive. your hair done. And I got my nails done. And my Oh toes. geez. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't hurt yourself. And <laughs> my toes. <laughs> look at those claws. Anyway, look at your hair. You know I'm back to my You're normal blonde. self. It feels so good. And turn show the back of it. Uh, look, look there's that. nothing left. I can run my fingers through it without getting them stuck. Okay, very nice. And you're blondie again. <sighs> All right, I like it, Jen. Life is as it should be. <laughs> well, you're so vain. <laughs> yeah, can we put that song on you probably without getting think a copyright? The song is about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I give you credit. You went three and a half months with really not great hair, and yeah, this is definitely better. I think this was cause for celebration. That's it. So maybe we should have a drink tonight. <gasps> All right, I'm for that. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.